Hello, DigiDustins. Oh, hi, Onyx. Jeez. <laughs> Onyx jump scare. Yes, we, we are here to discuss the Hunter's deck list. One of my favorite decks. It's really fluid, very consistent, gets the job done. Tier one kind of combats Belzimon. Not really, but it's really fun. Starting with the eggs, we have four Monimon. Has on deletion. If you have a Digimon with saving its name, draw a card. Best, best freaking forerunner. Oops, I mean best, <laughs> best Digitama ever. It 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 warrants you just running into your opponent without hazard. We run two Quartzmon. We only run two because you only need to. Because Jesus Christ, this card is disgusting. On Digi Evolution, you rest the entire board besides uh, option spells and you get one memory for every two that's rested. Um, helps, t um, this card is actually really disgusting, Jesus. Like, you can just end a game, you can stall a game, you can, you can do whatever you want with this guy. He pays your taxes too. All turns, nothing can unsuspend except for him. So if you have like a board with a bunch of old forces or a bunch of war Greymons, they're not moving ever unless this guy is destroyed. And then on attack, uh, you could just suspend an opponent's Digimon or a Tamer, and for every five uh, Digimon and or Tamers that are suspended, you trash the top of their security. So this has just actually just game ending potential. If they have a big board, well, they're kind of screwed and they're going to lose because getting swung at by a base 15k without the inheritables involved is just like a really high DP. Only dies to option cards. Like Rivals Barrage. We run for a Resha Dramon Superior Mode. This card is nuts, disgusting. It is the main boss unit of your deck. Has Wind Digi Evolution. You get to place an opponent's level three or lower <clears throat> or lower level Digimon under a Digimon or a Tamer, and the effect is increased by each different color Tamer you have. So if you have at least three Tamers, like nothing whatever whatever they have on the board is no longer alive you trash other digital cards it's one of the most unavoidable um i guess like like board control abilities in the game similar to um sukumon's poopification <laughs> because it's not deleting it it's not de-digivolving it it's just moving it to a different uh, a different like area to be under so really strong card um, especially his end of turn ability. Once per turn, this Digimon has four or more Digi Evolution cards. You just attack while being unsuspended. That's really good in case you need to block, in case you need to save your Arrested Digimon Superior mode. You don't want this guy dying, and if he dies, um, it's not that hard to build up another stack because if your Tamers, you're constantly putting uh, materials inside of it. You have a lot of tools to get this back. It's just really solid, really hard to beat, really good card overall <laughs> run two omni shout mine yay shout mine <laughs> when did you evolve when did you evolving choose any number of your opponent's digimon um <clears throat> uh with a total of 4k dp or less and deleted this stacks um the ability to delete for DP increases by 3k for every two DG Evolution cards that's within him. He is the other um, finisher like Arrested Jamon, but you usually want to go into Arrested Jamon because it's, it's ridiculous. And during your turn, if you have four or more DG Evolution cards and it's um, DG Evolution sources, um, security attack plus one. So he hits pretty hard himself. You can get rid of a, a big body on board depending on how many DG Evolution cards, which is usually going to be a lot because of how the tamers work now. Um, and then he has an inheritable ability that lets you delete a 4k or less DP um, Digimon if you have save in your name once per turn because Arrested Jamon exists and you could do that. Uh, you get two swings with him, so yeah. Normal Arrested Jamon. When Digi Evolving, if he has two sources within uh, underneath him, he has Rush. This is really good to just help end games. Um, it's definitely helped me end a game a couple times. Uh, go into him, rush, hit, survive somehow because you have 5k DP, and then go into a rest of Jermon, and then just finish the game with the free um, end of turn attack. And then on top of if you have um, Watchmaker um, ability, he has two crit, really helpful. 
Um, same inheritable ability on attack, draw a card if you have um, save in text in its name. And that is a very special uh, way to put just text anywhere on the Digimon, which is like a weird thing, but it, it works. Four, Damimon. This Damimon is really good. Um, on play or Digi Evolution, you check the top three cards of your deck and you get to play for free a Tai, a Tai Kikudo, a Tagidu, or a Yuamano. Um, really good. He helps get your, um, dig, uh, your Tamers ready to go. Uh, start getting your resources going. Um, I know another trend with um, these Digimon uh, with save is that they have an on deletion save, and then once they get deleted, they get to also save an uh, another Digimon <clears throat> from your your um, sources that was in it. Oh, trash actually. <laughs> so you can grab anything really, which is really good because if you're missing a certain piece or anything, and you need to. Um, and you need that specific piece. Once it dies, you grab whatever you need from the trash and put it under another tamer. Really strong um, on deletion effect. Um, it's it's a problem. <laughs> we run four. Shoutmon King version. Shoutmon's ability is on player when digi evolution. Um, to just just play a Tagiru you or a Taiki from your hand without paying its uh, memory cost. Really strong. Has the same on deletion. Um, this Damemon, however, has Blocker instead, but, um, if you have a Digimon with text in its name as its main, but for this one, he is the same as Shoutmon, um, Omni Shoutmon, where on attack, you can delete a Digimon with 4k DP or less. Really solid card. <laughs> Helps clear board. Then we run two, Clockmon. Really good inheritable ability. It gives jamming to your, your unit. So even if you do swing into a deck like Machine Jamon or Belzamon or a deck that has very high DP units, um, this helps to get rid of that. Um, it has blocker, on play, check the top three cards for up to two Digimon with same in its text and add it to your hand. Just really solid. <clears throat> keeps the um, keeps the, the plus engine going and just has normal save. <laughs> then we run four. Drachmon. I underestimate this card a lot. This card is really good. It has an inheritable ability to give it 2k DP um, uh, if he, as long as you have save in his text. Um, his on play is really strong because there are a lot of moments that this deck will have just um, extra leftover tamers in your hand. His ability uh, lets you by revealing up to three tamers in your hand to put it at the bottom of the deck to draw for each tamer. So if you reveal three tamers, you put it at the bottom and draw th three cards. Really helps with cycling. Um, really strong card. On deletion save. Everything this deck has saved besides the big boys. Now we have Psychmon as a four. Psychmon uh, helps you get your saved pieces after you put it in from the trash using your level fours um, on play. Uh, you can put a Digimon with save from under your tamer into your hand. This is really good. Um, this can also grab a Restrogermon. It can grab Quartzmon as well. It can, it can, it's, it's really strong. It's really good. Sorry, not a Restrogermon. Oh yeah, Restrogermon, because he has save in text, because that's a silly little keyword. And then inheritable ability uh, on attack, uh, get a draw. Once per turn. We have Gumjamon, everyone's favorite Shoutmon 2.0. On play, place a Digimon card into one of your tamers to draw a card. Um, really helps with cycling. Um, on deletion, save. And when attacking, uh, get it. Um, draw one card if you have save in its text. Um, most of these cards, funny enough, have Digi Crossing capabilities too, since it's at the end of the um, uh, Cross Wars era which is really strong so you get the digi cross him for two you get them out really cheaply do what you need to do search 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 with this deck you want to search a lot for your combo pieces because if you don't have your combo pieces then you get you get ran over you get overrun you get you get behind you have no tamers on board it's just really difficult we run to a kakimon be for the inheritable ability to give minus 2k dp to a unit that's really strong it's also another save unit and level three. Um, very helpful. 
you mainly only want to use this for the inheritable ability to get rid of possible rookies. You want to um, shorten a like a boss mon down to make it easier to crash into or to um, uh, delete. Really good. Uh, On to the tamers. We have four Taiki Kudo. His ability is start of your turn. If you put a Digimon with save in his text into un under him, you get to draw one card. Super helpful for cycling through your entire deck. Um, really good. Nice art too. And he has the ability to, when you will Digivolve into a unit, you will tap him to put a Digimon from under it into that Digimon that's Digivolution and reduce its Digivolution cost by one. Very strong ability with um, the Tamers in this set. Um, being like he's the better one out of most of the tamers because getting that extra draw is good draw power is good Don't let anybody tell you otherwise We run for you Amano He actually has an errata which is funny Where at the start of your turn by placing a Digimon with save and its text into his name You actually gain one memory you do not gain plus 2k DP this, this is an errata you gain one memory for him People call him the worst you Amano. He's really good you get memory off of him. And he has the same ability as Taiki Kudo, where is if you were to Digivolve into a unit with save, you get to put a card from under him into the Digimon to reduce its Digivolution cost by one, effectively making some of your Digimon free um, Digivolutions, or to just get it out um, to have more uh, memory to play with or to choke your opponent. We run three Tagidu. We only run three Tagidu because he's a memory setter, and that's it. He's a memory setter and he has the ability that when you digivolve into a unit, you get to rest this card and reduce the digivolution cost by one. And yeah, that's it, he's just a memory setter. Annoying memory setter. And then as the last tamers, we run three. Old clock man, old, old, old clock shop man. Uh, he has on play to check the top three cards of your deck to add one Digimon with save in its name and one card with Hunter in its name, which might be another Digimon. It's really good. He helps uh, grab your pieces for the deck. He also has a main ability, everyone. Main. Remember that. Main. I'm tired of seeing you guys swing with a Digimon and then be like, Watchmaker. It's main effect. You do this in main to give your unit with save plus one security check if you have <clears throat> more than if you have four or more tamers on the board with different colors actually no just four tamers <laughs> which is gonna which is really easy considering how easy it is to get tamers to be set so just getting that free security attack on your unit can like really blow up the um <clears throat> the opponent's uh life so there you have it that was the deck profile for the hunter's deck everyone's favorite little boy if you guys enjoyed um, please comment, like, and subscribe. We appreciate it. We love it here. Um, and yeah, and your support is very much um, accepted. Thank you for watching this and have a good day.